Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at rotating geometry with the move command. So we are going to find out, we'll spend a little bit of time. This is kind of fundamental. Anybody who's used move knows that you get handles on there you can rotate with. Um, but I want to talk a little bit about why you might do that or, or where to where to put that in to play. Uh, there's times where it's going to be good to use. And there's times where the regular rotate is going to work better. Let's talk about how those those are, how those, what's going to work, where, when to use what. Uh, that's basically the point of the video. So let's hop in and do that. All right. So I have a bunch of these models of uh, plastic interlocking building bricks, non-name brand. Uh, and I want to take them and I want to, I don't know, maybe want to do something like just make a little square on them or something like that. Um, I might take one of these right here and maybe I'll use the move command to slide over here. If I wanted to copy it and just stack one on top, of course, I could always just hit the modifier key to make a second copy. Pretty simple. But if I wanted to make a square where I had one going this way, then one going this way, then one going this way, uh, I'd have to rotate this. So I make a copy, copy it over here, and I would use rotate maybe to come over here like this. Rotate it 90 degrees. And then I would flip back to move, move it over here. And I could work my way around doing that. So uh, yeah, at that point, I'd probably just copy this one and then put it over here. But let's say I wanted to use move or take that. I could rotate that. Um, it's not a difficult process. This is not a time consuming process. This is not hard to do. I'm just tapping modifier keys and then rotating a brick at a time. Tap, tap the key back to go back to move and then put it there. Okay, so simple, not difficult to do. But let's see how this would work if I just went into move right now. I'm in move. I'm going to grab this one, bring it over here. And now I'm going to copy it. And this one, I'm just going to spin using the handles. When I'm in move, if I move over a face, I get these little red handles. Clicking on it allows me to turn it. And then while I'm still in move, I can put it right back here. Now, a couple things about those handles. When I rotate using those handles, it's going to rotate around the center of that face. So you can see it's not, it's not rotating on the corner like it was before when I did it on the other side. It's rotating about the center of this top face. When I say center of the face, I'm talking about the face of the object, the group or component. So if I come here, you can see that red line that's representing where it's gonna rotate from. See that? That's actually the center of this blue outline, not the green rectangle. So what I'm actually doing is rotating about the container. It's not taking into account where there's geometry and where there's not. So if I was to spin it, I'd always be spinning around the middle. So this is, it's not, it's, I mean, this is how it works. It's not as simple, or, or it's, it's not quite the same as how I would rotate with rotate, of course, because I pick a point, pick a point to start, pick a point to rotate to, and then I'd have to hop back into move now to move this back to where it goes. So uh, either way works, but it there's there's just something nice and simple to being able to say, okay, move this, and then We'll move a copy over, we'll rotate it real quick, and we'll move it. So I never had to leave the command to do any of that. And I'm, I'm doing this a little bit in a drawn out way. I'm, I'm probably not doing the quickest series of commands, but I wanted to show you why that is a nice, quick, and easy way to do this. Um, a couple more points that I do want to make about the rotate command. One is that these handles only show up on faces you can clearly see, right? So I can hover over this little face right here, this face right here. I don't get handles because I can't see it very well. It's too far away from the camera. The tops I can hover over, there I see my handles. Here, I don't get them. If I open it up just a little bit more, now I get handles. The other thing that I hear a lot from people is that, oh, I don't like the, the rotate handles because they get in the way of move. Yeah, sometimes that's true. So when I come in here, I want to grab this brick and I want to move it. I click right here. Oh, I'm getting, I'm hovering over the rotate handle instead of the snap point, And that's irritating me. Absolutely. My question to that, my retort, 
My comeback is, why are you trying to move a brick from so far away? Zoom in. Come on, get in here. Look, it's just a scroll. All you got to do is scroll that middle button. And now I can grab any of these corners. I can grab a middle point here. I can even grab a middle point here, which is right next to that handle. But because I'm zoomed in, it's super easy to get to. So if you get, you don't, these get in your way all the time, just zoom in a little. It's, it's a pretty simple problem to, to solve. Um, but once you get in there, once you get used to it, doing things like moving components and rotating them using just move can be a huge time saver. And it really makes modeling just that much easier. So it is, it's a small tip, but I do wanna say that these are the kind of things that start to add up when you're modeling. So a couple weeks ago, Eric did a model where he used one component, just scaled it all. It was kind of a crazy example, right? It was something where, well, you probably won't do that, but you could. But thinking about things in how you can optimize your model is the key to being a faster, more efficient modeler. And this is an example of that. If you get really good at using move with rotate, you might not have to use rotate hardly ever and you don't have to move to another command to, to spin something. And those are the clicks that end up saving time in the long run. You cut your clicks in half, time in half every time you gotta move or work with the component. Eventually, that's gonna show up in how long you spend inside of the model. Did you like this? Was this a good tip? Did this help you out? Did you learn anything here? If so, leave us a comment down below. Go ahead and like and subscribe too. That's important stuff. But really tell us what you thought about this kind of, uh, this, this form of a tip. Or if there's something else that you come across, a time saver that you know of that we haven't mentioned here, leave that in the comments down below too. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.